Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions. A few results are not exactly going to plan. I can say that straight from the off. I still know as I'm recording this, there's still one more game to play. Reason I've done it this way is because that game, I don't think it changed my results overall. Um, but you know, so I thought I'd do it now. Um, guys, before we get started, this video is sponsored by LOL T-shirt company. You may have heard of them before. I have done another deal with them to um, sell my merch. My link for my merch is down in the description below, so guys, feel free to check out after this video. Um, but anyway, guys, you know what I do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Tottenham versus Brighton. The game that is still yet to be played is Tottenham versus Chelsea, so I can't talk about that. The game I can talk about is the Brighton versus Sheffield United. Brighton lost 1-0 to Sheffield United at home. Um, obviously you guys know where I'm from. Um, you know who I support. I was so disappointed on the Brighton end. So disappointed. Um... On the Sheffield Giant then, brilliant. Deserved the win. Um, I had two goals called out by VAR. One was a handball, one was an amazing offside. I want to know how the line from there spot it. Um, but fair play to Sheffield United. Probably deserved the three points, I do think, overall. Um, going up against the Tottenham side, who are currently in seventh, still yet to play, obviously, could change after their game. Um, coming in real good under Jose Mourinho. Um, do I think that this game could play on Jose Mourinho's mind a bit? Um, I think it's going to be an interesting one. Um, both teams need the three points, but as far as the game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Tottenham Hotspur win. My next one is Aston Villa versus Norwich. Norwich are uh, losing Wolverhampton 2-1 at home. Aston Villa losing 3-1 at home to Southampton. Norwich went 1-0 up in that game as well. And I think Norwich probably deserve a point. Um, Villa really disappointed out of the office. Fair play to Southampton. Um, this game is going to be slightly interesting. Both teams are Norwich in 19th and Aston Villa in 18th. Um, three points apart. Um, a win for Villa could put them back out of the relegation zone. A win for Norwich could tie in points with Villa. I think Norwich is going to win this one. And I'll go for a 2-0 Norwich win. My next one is AFC Bournemouth versus Arsenal. Bournemouth losing 1 0 at home to Burnley, um, and Arsenal 0 0 away to Everton. Bournemouth are going through a dippy spell. Bournemouth are currently on 19 points um, with a minus 6 goal difference. Arsenal ain't that similar either. Minus three on goal difference with 23 points. If results really went against Arsenal, they could really find themselves down there for this game. Um, but, you know, because of the Sheffield United result, um, you know, it didn't quite end that badly. Um, this game's going to be a very dodgy one. And I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Chelsea versus Southampton. Um... Southampton beat an Aston Villa 3-1 away from home. Chelsea still yet to play, I got to play Tottenham. Chelsea are in the top four. Um, going up against Southampton, or, or, who are in 17th. I'm going to go for a Chelsea win, and I'm going to go for a 1-0 Chelsea win. My next one is Crystal Palace versus West Ham. Um, Crystal Palace losing 1-0 away to Newcastle. 
Um, I think that game, you know, probably fair play to you, Castle. West Ham did not play, supposed to play Liverpool, game called off, Club World Cup. Um, as the table stands, West Ham are currently in 16th position, 19 points. Crystal Palace are in 12th, 23 points. Um, I think West Ham, because they've had that week off, are going to get a win. And I'll go for a 1-0 West Ham win. My next one is Everton versus Burnley. Um, Everton 0 0 at home to Arsenal. Great point for Everton there. Burnley beating Bournemouth 3 uh, sorry, beating Bournemouth 1 0 away from home. I think Dougie Freeman is very unfortunate not to get the Everton job. Um, you know, Carlo and Mikel Tessa have got the Arsenal and Everton job. You shouldn't know which player it is. Mikel is on his way to Arsenal. Carlo is on his way to Everton. Um, but I still feel sorry for Dougie Freeman not to get the job out of full time. Um, first game that Carlo's got to take charge against a bit of an iffy Burnley side. Um, how do I think this one's going to plan out? You know all these new managers have that bit of stardust when they start their jobs. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 Everton win. My next one is Sheffield United versus Watford. Um, Sheffield United beating Brighton 1-0 away from home. Watford beating Man United 2-0 at home. That's not a misprint. Um, see, if Sheffield United played like they did against Brighton, take the VAR goals away from it. I think there's no disrespect to Watford. I think Sheffield and I are going to make it a quite easy job. Which is why I'm going to go for a 3 0 Sheffield United win. My next one um, is Manchester United versus Newcastle. Um, I don't know why I did that accent then. Um, Man United loses 2 0 away from home to Watford. Um, Newcastle, beating Crystal Pal uh, Newcastle beating Crystal Palace 1 0 at home. Now, this is my argument where um, when people call Brighton and Palace a derby, I never do, and I'm a Brighton fan. And this is why, if you're going to call that a derby, then you've got to call Man United like Newcastle a derby, or stuff like that, you know, it don't make sense. Um, but a good rivalry these two clubs have got. Steve Bruce starting to find his feet under you, um, under, with Newcastle, I should say. Um, Man United and a guy are two points worse off than they were this time last season. Which one will go for a 2 1 Newcastle United win? Can't call it another way, unfortunately. My next one is Leicester versus Liverpool. Um, Leicester losing to Manchester City 3 1. Liverpool did not play the Club World Cup. Um, I think this game is going to be interesting. But Liverpool do need to win to keep the pressure up on the City. So I'm going to go for a 2 0 Liverpool win. It's Wolverhampton versus Manchester City. Um, Man United losing 2 0 away. Oh no, I've done that one. No. <laughs> Sorry. Wolverhampton uh, beating Norwich City 2 1. Away from home, I think Norwich were very lucky. Man City beating Leicester City 3 1 at home. Um, three points that Man City needed. Um, you know, I think they once they got the penalty and stuff like that, I think you know, were comfortably in there. Um, Wolverhampton, uh, it's gonna be a bit of a tough game, I think, for Wolverhampton. Um, which one gonna go for? I'll go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Have a fantastic Christmas. Look after yourself if you're going out. Um, stay safe. Uh, thanks for watching. Ciao for now.